within the last week, I've had multiple patients come in, probably over five to 10 patients come in, coming from the dentist's office because they've been sitting in a dental chair for a really long time and it bothered their neck. I've also had a couple of patients come in after car accidents where we have things like whiplashes and then their necks bothering them from things like that. I had a patient come in recently. We were seeing him last year for something. So we had some semi-recent x-rays. We shot a new set of x-rays after he was just in a car accident a couple of weeks ago. And the curve of his neck had almost totally reversed from last year when we took the same set of x-rays. So why is the neck important? Other than just obvious pain can cause numbness and tingling going down the arms. One of the biggest things with the neck, if you think if I asked you to wiggle your toes right now, if I asked you to wiggle your toes, I asked you to jump, bend your knee, whatever it is, and those are all in your legs, your lower extremities, for you to do any of that, that signal needs to pass from your brain through your neck, through your spinal cord and your mid back, all the way down to your low back, through those nerves in your low back, all the way down to your legs. That signal starts up here in your brain stem and your neck. If that signal can't get through that part of your spine, it's not gonna get through the lower part. That's why I tell people all the time, even if you have an issue in your low back, a lot of times we need to check the neck because that signal, that, that, that neurological signal from your brain has to travel through that neck, that cervical spine prior to getting down to that low back. Now, all of us have a neck that should have a curve.